All right, welcome back everybody. We got a, another random map generator game for you. We got Emrick on the side of Sequoia, and this is probably one of the commanders Emrick is most known for. To say Emrick, one of the most commanders of Sequoia is most known for, sorry. Very good at playing Emrick. Lots of very cool tactics, very innovative player when it comes to Emrick. So I'm very curious to see what we're What's going to happen out here? Ooh, quite a lot of forest so far on these sides. But, you know, there's like a decent chunk of open space to play around with. Oh, wow, actually, never mind. That's a lot of forest. And that's going to be like a decent chunk of villages alongside this too. Very far forward strongholds. So this is going to be a very aggressive game once again. But Emmerich's very good at defense. So I'm very curious to see how are we going to see... Emmerich Crystal come into play here, and I mean the stronghold's not open whatsoever. In some ways, you could have like a a trebuchet get built. You build like a line here, you build a formation here, and then it's very difficult to attack into that because you have to go through the forest yourself to get to it. Defensive tiles are a bit misleading at points because even if you put stuff on them and you get that defense bonus you are leaving yourself wide open to a lot of like the free space in front of them to allow for mobility but we are seeing oh we got very defensive barracks placement actually so we're not seeing those on the side of the opponent's stronghold they're seeing on the side of the defender and we see snake playing tenry so last game we had psychoia playing tenry and a very convincing win with that but in this case, seeing Snake with Tenry against Sykora's Emric, and I'm very curious to see how this is going to play out. Are we going to see something like a trebuchet get bought? Because you know, knights are not going to be as relevant here. You would have to attack from like this angle, which means you'd have to sweep a knight all the way across the side of the map. Unless you're Tenry, and I guess you could teleport it, but... Yeah, I'm very curious to see how this is going to play out. And this is an interesting capture root difference, because Snake is actually going to be able to grab this village back here, but no, it goes for the commander heal instead. Potentially could have gone for that, but I guess the sword would knock it down. And then you're not really getting income, you're just... Yeah, and ooh, we see a very aggressive placement here from Emric. So maybe going to use this terrain to his own advantage. Because if you're in a forest with forest in front of you, it's very difficult for your opponent to move into you. Okay. Very aggressive play from Emric here. But you know, this is pretty safe. We're going to see the follow up capture as well. Not really too much to punish this. There is, I guess, a mage crit on Emrek, but that's not really going to be the end of the world. We see the balloon come out. Okay, mage crit comes down. This is going to do quite a lot of damage. Good yeah, 25%, something like that. Another mage coming in as well. And interesting, we're going to see a hit on this village. I guess that means that Emmerich can't heal off of it. And we just see a whole bunch of units moving into position. I don't quite know about this knight positioning. It doesn't really reinforce the right hand side, which I think is where our big fight's about to break out. But we see Snake, they're pressing forwards, they're doing some damage. We see a ballista coming in. We see the balloon coming in. This is actually really smart. And I believe. Didn't go for the capture, even though it was available. Doesn't want to feed Tenry more groove. Knocking down a village, I believe, gives more groove than capturing one, so. Yeah, and ooh, yeah, sword crit onto the mage. Gets the kill, gets Emric a bunch of groove, and we see the trebuchet from Snake come out. And Tenry can be very flexible here, can use the can use this defensively and offensively. Without actually having to reposition the trebuchet, it's all about where Tenry is going to groove from. 
and he just wants to get a bit of damage onto the sword. I think the play here is getting Tenry a bit more groove. But rather than like wanting to necessarily like kill this sword. And who actually forces it to run back and heal off a village. Which is gonna drain that and mean Emmerich can't use it as much. Ooh, but Emmerich is just gonna Use a mage heal on himself? Doesn't kill the dog. Oh. I'm very curious about that. Oh, but this knight is now moving into an aggressive position. I think it's slightly out of position to get the crit on the stronghold itself, but... Yeah, and I actually really wish this knight had gone over to this side to have been more aggressive and involved in this fight. Oh, and Tenry's just being very passive. So I don't know how I feel about this from Snake. Just being a bit unsure of where to put that knight. Tenry not going to do too much. Just feels a bit like her hands are tied right now. Isn't really in a position to do anything. Like you either want to like dedicate to moving more to this side or staying aggressive and that ballista is just slowly going to chip away at stuff. Slowly going to build more groove too. But Snake actually has a golem now and a trab so we're going to try and force Emmerich back. And we're going to see balloon archer, balloon spear. Just a lot of stuff reinforcing over on this side. And we slowly see a second ballista moving forwards. Now here's a really interesting thing Emmerich can do. Emmerich's tier 2 groove increases the range of all of his units. All of his indirect units anyway by... I believe it's 2, but it could be 3. Someone in chat can correct me on that. But it's enough that it causes problems. So what we could see is with all this archer and all of this ballista, Emmerich just throws down tier 2 crystal, and we see a whole bunch of very far range strategy coming into play here, where... Very big indirect damage comes in. See another archer getting built there as well, as I say that. But yeah, he does have to respect this trebuchet, he does have to respect this golem. And those are going to shove this army down, army back even. And Tenry ate a bunch of damage, but it's being very passive. Whereas Sykoya is being very aggressive with Emrak. And it is worth noting, Ballista do have three movement on planes. Trebuchets did get nerfed, I believe, either right before the game came out or after release, where they originally could move quite a distance, but... Oh, and that's not what you want to have happen. Air Troopers deal so much damage to Trebuchets. Like one of their big benefits, and just sees that one tile open. And doesn't actually have a good way of killing this with one hit. Or actually, maybe the mages would have crit it and killed it with that, but I guess hitting it twice gives you a bit more groove. And yeah, we see a very injured trebuchet now. Ooh! This is a very aggressive play coming out. Moves an injured commander forwards to hit a golem. And you know, the carry type damage isn't going to be lethal. By any means, but yeah. Wow, I actually just moves that golem forwards aggressively as well. Even goes for, I believe this is a knight crit. Yes, you would not want to do that with a regular knight hit. He would lose very badly. So we're seeing a whole bunch of damage coming in here. And just moves a whole bunch of stuff forwards, moves the trebuchet forwards to heal. And yeah, it makes sense. We see a mage heal coming in. Whole bunch of units coming into wall. But Emmerich is really close to tier 2 groove. And I think a bunch of the stuff actually could be in range of doing some pretty deadly damage. But I'm, I'm very curious to see how this is going to play out. Okay. We've got the big tier 2 coming out. And what's going to come in first? So we see the super long range ballista shot. Just chips the village. Oh no, that was the one that could hit all along, so 
No, not the biggest deal. Alright. Archer comes in. Deals damage from a tile that would be able to do it from anyway, so... Not, actually, not really seeing this groove get used that much. I guess this is going to be the big one. Ballista hits the trebuchet from a really long distance, but... Doesn't actually do that much damage, so... Yeah, this is actually genuinely just a very nice turn for Sykoya, but the, the tier 2 didn't really impact things that much. I mean, that treb would have knocked down that village either way. This golem's going to do the exact same thing it would have done, and yeah, no, no extra damage really came of that groove. Aside from just a bit of chip. And people are saying... Bliss has 8 range, yeah, if it's in, if it's in the crystal, it gets the 8 range. And yeah, it's only for one turn, as people in chat are discussing. I actually, maybe it was a bug then, because I do remember playing a game where stuff outside the crystal range would get the, the bonus range, but maybe that was just a bug in the game I played. But okay, people are correcting me. Apparently, it's only if you're in the crystal you get the bonus range. So it's just that ballista and this archer, really, that would have gotten the benefit. And just for the one turn. But even so, you know, we're seeing a lot of chip damage come in. And this is a very fortified position, so... And actually, because there's a mage here, you can just continually drop mage heals on it. And the stuff in front is going to also get... receive the benefit of that mage heal too. Okay, we see Ballista counter-attack. We got a bit of a, a trench warfare thing going on here. Both people attack each other with big indirects. Sakoya went very deep on this left hand side though. So they're gonna have a big econ lead. And we're gonna see Air Trooper against Knight. And that is a very good gold fight for the Air Troopers if they attack first anyway. So they're just gonna get a lot of value here. We're gonna not see the sword go down? No. They are not very effective against swords. They are very specialist units. They're very good against knights. They're very good against trebuchets. I think they do like decent damage to archers as well. But they are not the best for combat. They're very like specialist niche roll. And ooh, we're just going to continue to see more units just kind of run forward and do. I mean, you're essentially attacking a knight that's on a, a mountain there. Okay, what are we going to see here? Okay. Golem's going to get moved out. The position is interesting, because this is only going to do regular trap damage. Well, that's still a lot, actually. I say regular. That wasn't even full health either. Okay. Eats a bit of counter-attack damage there, and yeah, like a sword is going to finish it off at this point. And down it goes. So, hey, uh, Tenry gets a, a nice pick off on a golem. That's pretty good value. Gonna see some damage coming on this crystal. And it's a weakened sword though, so not gonna be the biggest deal. Just moves everything in. Ooh, I don't know. I feel like this is a lot of stuff that's just gonna get eaten. So here it goes. First spear crit comes in, takes out a sword, but I guess, you know, if you're going in, you have to go all in. Injured archer are going to be next. Big mage hill comes in, and I think that was for the benefit of the archer more than anything else. Does kill the swords. Okay, archer crit's pretty strong. Ballista follow up. Going to weaken the swords. It's going to allow a sword crit to finish it off. Emmerich's just going to stand there and do damage. And he's essentially on a mountain, so he is looking fine. He's got another groove. We could potentially start seeing multiple Emmerich crystals go down. And this is looking very good for Psycho, just doing a lot of damage this turn, but it's not over yet. He still has a lot of stuff to get through, and this is not going to kill. Oh, but Air Trooper... I don't quite know if going for just like the lone dog was the main thing to go for there, but it does actually eliminate the potential for dog suicide, so that isn't actually the worst idea. 
because well for everything that's happening here like you don't want to leave like too many weakened units near your commander okay oh true but wow actually lives on like one percent health oh but weakened sword's gonna do the job Yeah, no, it's just going to move back, and something else is going to come in and finish off the air trooper. And more air troopers going down. These dogs probably going to get finished off by whatever follows up. Yeah, Spear's going to fall to finish this. And that means Sequoia is like confidently secured the left hand side of the map. So, they're going to be in a big econ lead. Snake, I guess they're just going to try and duke it out and see what they can do. Ballista comes in, deals some chip damage. Golem's going to be able to knock that down. And that actually, I think, leaves the crystal open as well. Yeah, sword's going to come in. Is that going to kill? It does. Ooh, that's a big deal. And for a moment, I thought we were going to try and see some damage going on the commander, but no, we're just going to see a whole bunch of... There's a hole open now, so I guess if you, if you punch the hole open, you're going to you know, see what you can do by going through it. Air Trooper fights a sword. I mean, not going to be the best gold value, but Air Trooper's on good terrain, so... Is it? No, actually, no, it's just on plane. What am I talking about? I guess it just wants to do some damage. Just like very, it's expensive to fight over here, but he has to do it. Otherwise, he's going to lose the game. Okay, Tenry's going to, I don't think, kill this, but do a lot of damage. And not take much in the way of counterattack, so. Yeah, it's mostly just for building groove more than anything else. But Emmerich already has tier 2 groove again. Oh, wow. So, what's, what's the follow-up here? This army's actually looking pretty good. But can Sykoya do a good job continuing to fight through here? And one unfortunate thing here is because he has to clear a bunch of stuff out to use Zemrick's groove effectively. Like, that's that's a bit of wasted groove that he could have had. Okay, we got extra range of both these Ballista. Got a Mage Crit coming in. Is there anything big and heavy to put in front here? Uh, I guess the knight, technically. And your air troopers do, like, reasonable damage to golems. Not, like, the best thing in the world, but... They do okay. And we just see the spear come in. Goes for the heal. Is this gonna kill? No! Barely lives. Plus, is just gonna go for a bunch of damage. So, actually leaving a whole bunch of weakened units alive... Doesn't really want to go for any kind of kills or anything. I guess it's an orc percent for a golem to be alive at. 68%. Can't really heal it to full. So it can't really knock down any walls. And it's in front of like... All of this is mountain, essentially. So Emmerich's groove is looking pretty spooky. And there's just so much like indirect damage here as well. It's just like a huge meat grinder on this side. And over on the left hand side, we're starting to see slowly snakes like taking down this army. But it's having to buy very expensive units to kill swords. And by the time this all gets cleared up, there's not going to be like all these villages will have healed up to the point where it takes like even more money to knock them down. Snake just continuing to fight over here. This is not even going to come close to killing, because, yeah, these are essentially on a mountain. They've got, like, crystal defense. Archer comes in. It's a bit more chip. Maybe going to see... Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're definitely going to die to... A knight. Even if it's just a regular hit. Golem's just like, yo, I'm still in here. I'm still doing damage. Picks up another kill. I'm really curious what this Treb's going to do, because there is an air trooper nearby, and Snake has to respect that, otherwise this Treb's going to eat a ton of damage. 
and the big mage heal comes in. Yeah, just moves the trebuchet back. Is like, I don't want to have to deal with this air trooper. Really good positioning there, actually. Sequoia very much adjusting well to the new the new units. And we're just gonna see more and more of this meat grinder on the right hand side. Sequoia has the income leads by like a pretty significant margin. He's got three villages up on this side and an extra village over here. Well, actually no, it's only a two village lead because yeah, we did actually manage to see Snake go across the line and take this right hand village, so. Yeah, it's, it's a two village lead, so not the end of the world, but oh, dang, that's a, that's a big unit to lose there. Even going to use his air troopers just to pick off an, a weakened sword. But every time you pick off a weak unit, it's a significant gain for being able to move your commander forwards. Because that's chip damage on your commander that could come in later. Ooh, nicely calculated. Are we going to see this golem go down? Yep, Night Crit comes in. And we're just going to continue to see stuff push forwards. And yeah, Ballista are going to come in, do some more chip damage. And that actually opens up a, a Spear Crit to get the kill. So, yeah, just continuing to press forwards. We're going to see Emmerich probably with another Tier 2 Groove in the near future. More units get picked off. Yeah, you just want to keep those weakened units down and... Oh! Now that that unit... Now that the army on the left got pushed back a bit, it's able to just kind of collapse on the right. And yeah, we see a big heal coming on Emmerich. And yeah, you just don't want to do anything that lets your opponent get kills. And Oh, even going to be able to reinforce with more mages on there. And yeah. Snake is just like, I can't win this. Emmerich is not a, f a commander you want to get into a big grindy fight like that with. Unless you have like tons of indirect and are able to just punish him heavily. And like he leaves lots of his army in range. Then yeah, it really bad for you but in this case Sakoya had a really nice army is made really good use of this particular area here where it was able to easily block in front of the crystal and just picked away with ballista just constantly constantly and had an air trooper available to punish the trebuchet as well so yeah really nicely done and Sakoya takes the win